Okay, we will start by creating the sweeps and the reveals. So I'll start with sweeps. We're going to add a profile. And there's a default that's assigned here. You can switch that to something that's already loaded. Or we can load a profile. So if I load a profile, that's going to be in the profiles folder. And I will just use out of the box content for this. Um, and we'll just pick some different things. So we'll do Brick Soldier Course. And we'll go ahead and add the reveal while we're in here. And how about a parrot pickup? So we'll say OK. Oops, and let's add this one also. And open. So once I do that, those are available for me to choose from. You'll notice that the reveal does not show up on here, and that's because I'm doing a solid extrusion. So I'll just go ahead and add um, a Brick Soldier course. We can assign a material to it. So just go in and pick you know, the material you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here just for the sake of time. Um, the distance is how far it's going to be you know, from the base. So I'll say that this one's going to be three feet. And I want it on the exterior side. And offset is offset in you know the left or right position. Flip is going to mirror that profile. And setback is basically the distance that it would cut back from an opening. So let's say that you had you know an extruded profile around your windows that is three inches on each side. So we could adjust the setback to automatically cut back that distance. Um, whether or not it cuts the wall and whether or not it's cuttable by other items. So if I move this over just a little bit and hit apply, you can see where it ends up. So this happens to be a metric file so I need to increase these. So let's hit apply. So whatever I change this to is what it's going to adjust to. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is with the sweeps, their position is based on how they were built. So their origin is based on how they were built. So whether or not we need to offset it is going to depend on you know, how that particular item was built. And there don't really seem to be any standards with the out-of-the-box content, so you might have to open it up and look at it. But that's the basics as far as placing sweeps. You can add multiple sweeps. So we'll go ahead and add a parrot pick cap. And for that one, I want to place it on the top. And I want a zero offset. And again, if you hit apply, you can kind of see if it's in the right position or not. And like I said, if I use flip, it basically just mirrors that item. And you'll notice that you can set this on either the interior or exterior side. For the parrot pick cap, that wouldn't make sense to do because it's positioned, you know, basically centered on the wall. But for other items, perhaps like a base molding or something, you might want it on the inside rather than the outside. So that is the basics of the sweeps. And one thing I do want to mention, if you set the sweep, let's say I set my base sweep at a height value that is greater than the height of the wall, you're going to get some warnings or some errors, basically. So if you're trying to control elements, especially if you're going to do, you know, edit the profile of a wall, you want to make sure that you set these from the base rather than the top. Because if you have different top offsets, you know, or different top heights, then your sweeps would be staggered.